Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you are new. Hi, my name is Nikki, and I post a variety of different types of videos on this channel. But today, as I'm sure you guys can probably already tell from the title, I am going to be doing a thrift flip video. So this is something that I've been wanting to do forever now. It's actually on my summer bucket list. If you don't know what a thrift flip is, it's pretty much where you go to the thrift store and you find some clothes that don't necessarily work right away. And what I mean by that is like, you find a shirt, but it's like super big, super baggy, and then you get home and you end up cropping it and maybe adding like a little graphic on it or something and you make it like way cuter. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm going to be taking three different items that I found at the thrift store and I'm going to be attempting to flip them. You guys can watch the process and see the final results. So anyways, let's go ahead and get on to the video. So this is the first item that I want to flip today. It is just this gingham, I believe is the pattern name, blue skirt. I think it's really cute. Um, by the way, I do have it safety pinned in the back because it's kind of big on me. So I am going to need to take it in a bit. And so my plan for the skirt is I already think it's like really cute, but I'm kind of just planning to like take it up like this much that it's a little bit shorter. I don't want it to be super short, but it accidentally flashes anybody. I just do want to take it up a little bit so that it will be nice and cinched and I can cut it here. This is what the first item I want to flip looks like. Okay, so this is the next thing that I wanted to thrift flip. Now, this I actually did not get at the thrift store this week. It was like a while ago that I got this. So it is just these pants. As you guys can see, they are again very oversized. I think the reason why I buy a lot of this stuff is just because I really love the pattern and I'm like, hey, I can do something with that and then I just like don't really know where to begin. I'm going to try to make them a little bit more form-fitting, so a little bit more like this which I'm not sure how that's gonna look. So if this turns out as a fail, it turns out as a fail. This is the last item I have to show you guys. It is just these cargo pants, khaki cargo pants. I thought that they were really cute because I had literally just seen a Pinterest of someone wearing something really similar to this. Again, I will pop it up on the screen so you guys can like see where I'm coming from and like kind of what I want to go for. I do have it with a belt already because they would just be slipping right off me if I did not have a belt. I do wish they were like a little bit tighter, just like not so oversized, but I there's really not much I can do about that right now. I am going to probably just cinch it in a little bit at the waist. And that's probably all I'm going to do for this one. This one's probably the most simple out of the three that I'm going to be trying. So now that you guys have seen all of the three items that I'm going to be flipping, let's go ahead and get on to actually flipping them. So to begin flipping this skirt, you guys can see that I still have the bobby pins in at the bottom. And I just put those there to kind of show me where I wanted the hem to be about. Um, and I just took a ruler and I actually measured exactly how high I wanted to cut the skirt because it was kind of long on me so like you guys just saw I do want to cut it a little bit so I was just measuring exactly how much I wanted to cut it by which I think I wanted to cut it by like a four inches I think and then the next thing that I did is I just took my seam ripper and I started ripping the seam all along one of the sides because that is how I'm going to be cinching in the skirt. Another thing that I'm going to continue doing as I continue to rip the seam, I'm just going to rip the seam all the way down, is I'm going to bobby pin this like so, just so that I make sure it doesn't move at all because I don't want this coming undone and then like me not knowing exactly where I want the end of the skirt to be. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side.
So I just completely finished seam ripping the entire edge. Just literally just took it and I ripped all of the seams along the edge. And currently I'm wearing the skirt. Sorry this looks so weird right now and ignore that bag. But I'm currently just kind of cinching it in around my waist. And this is about how much I'm going to need to sew it. I'm going to need to sew this much into the skirt. So I know that clip was kind of hectic, but pretty much what I did was I just put it around my waist and I kind of saw how much I would need to cinch the skirt in by so that it would fit me. Um, and then I flipped the skirt inside out and I started pinning down about where I wanted to sew the other edge of the skirt. And I did this in a curved shape because the other side of the skirt was kind of curved like that and I didn't want one side to be super straight and one side to be curved. Though if I did this again, I would just go ahead and sew the hem first and then I would do this step because it was kind of awkward trying to sew the hem after I had already put in all the pins. I just finished pinning it all along like this. I tried to give it a similar curve to this, how it kind of comes where it goes from this to coming out a little bit more in a curve and then going back in a little bit. So I tried doing that with my pins as well. Again, this part is going to be the hem, so I'm going to need to sew this separately. But so that is exactly what I did. I just went ahead and sewed the hem and then I went and sewed the edge of the skirt. Sorry about the lighting in these clips. It was kind of late when I sewed this, so yeah. Then I just cut off all the excess fabric. Uh, one thing that I wish I had done is tried on the skirt first and then cut off the fabric just to make sure that it was the right size. Okay, you guys, so I just flipped the skirt inside out after cutting off the remaining excess fabric and this is what it looks like. Honestly, I'm really, really happy with how it looks. It literally just looks like a regular old skirt and I can't wait to try it on to see how it fits. I think what I am going to do next though, right before I do try it on, is I'm just going to iron this down so that it's not poofing up so much. So I can just get a really nice clean seam. That is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to iron it and then I will be trying it on for you guys. So this is what the skirt ended up looking like. Honestly, I'm really proud of it. I've never done a sewing project quite like this before where I've actually transformed an item from something that I could not wear to something that I literally can wear now whenever I want. It definitely is tighter than I was expecting, but I guess I could have, I probably should have thought about that. But you know, it is supposed to be a mini skirt and I think that it actually looks pretty good overall. It's the perfect length for me, I think. It's not super high or super long. There's a little bit of rippling right here on the sides, but overall, I don't think that's super noticeable. Wow, I'm actually I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and you know, if we do ever end up going back to school, this is definitely something that I can see myself wearing a lot. So first, first flip is complete. Now we are going to move on to probably the harder ones. We'll see. So let's go. Okay, so this next DIY was definitely way harder than any other thrift flip I have ever done before, but I was willing to take on the challenge. Like I mentioned, I wanted to make these really oversized baggy pants more fitted and maybe something that, you know, would work well with a more formal outfit. So what I started off by doing is I wanted to cut off all of the original seams and kind of break it down and I had to re- do kind of the entire pant and rebuild it. So obviously I am not a professional seamstress or anything like that. I was kind of just doing this for fun. So if you're going to follow this video as a guide, definitely watch some other videos as well. But I did learn a few things and I will share those with you guys later. But anyways, what I'm doing now is I am using some jeans and these jeans fit me pretty well and I just laid them down on the fabric and what I did was I kind of used them as a guide and I used a sharpie and drew around the jean so that I would know where to cut and um, how to make something that would fit me. Something that I did learn, and if any of you guys are going to do this as well, definitely give yourself a little bit more room. So don't draw the Sharpie line exactly where the jean is. I would say draw it about two inches away so that it is easier to pull the pant leg actually up onto yourself. That's something that I learned. I drew a little bit too close to where the jean actually was, and it did end up making the jeans fit a little bit too tight, as you guys will later see. 
But yeah, as you guys can see, what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting. So this is what the pants look like. I just finished cutting them all out and I can't wait to start actually sewing them together now because I feel like it's actually going to start looking like a pair of pants after that. And hopefully the hard part is behind me. I'm not sure though. The only thing is I I really want them to be able to fit. And unfortunately I forgot to like cut a little bit of a triangle right here because I am kind of using these jeans as a guide and I didn't really pay much attention to this. I'm going to probably need to cut out another little triangle for that part of the pant and then I can just start sewing everything together. So after I cut out two triangles for the crotch area, I took some sewing pins and I just started pinning all the way down the jean and this is just to make sure that the fabric doesn't move or anything and it goes into the sewing machine nice and clean. I just finished sewing the pants together. This took me literally like four or five hours today. So I've been working on this for a long time, but I can't believe they actually like look like pants. Just using my jeans as a guide, I'm surprised that I was actually able to like complete this project because this is something that I've been wanting to do for so long. Like this has just been sitting in my attic in like my fabric box forever. And I finally just went with it and I did it and I really just want to see how they look on and how they feel and if they're too tight or too loose. I actually did have to re sew like the bottom of one of the sides of the pant leg because I sewed it so that it was too tight on my leg and I could not even get it over my foot. So I had to re sew that. So I'm hoping that it fits now. I'm going to just cut off all the loose strings and then I'm going to try it on for you guys. Okay you guys, so this is how the pants turned out. They don't exactly look or feel the best. The crotch area is definitely way too low. I'm not sure exactly why that is, that I like got the measurements so wrong right there. So needless to say, uh, I can put them on, which is a score. However, the fit of them is not amazing. I kind of expected that, to be honest. I just was kind of hoping this would be a little bit higher, you know, not so low, so that I could like legitimately wear them. I mean, they are fitted, which does look nice overall. I guess you could say this was a thrift flip. I tried my best and they turned out all right. So I guess this was a good experience for sewing pants. Now I'm gonna really quickly do the last part, which is just cinching in the khaki pants that I have, and then I'm gonna call this video a day. So this next thrift flip was definitely the easiest, and really all I wanted to do was just make them a little bit tighter around my waist, so I kind of cinched them in. I'm really not sure how to explain it, but I just sewed the edges of it together with my sewing machine. I had to go really slow because it was super thick. Okie dokie you guys, so this is the last thrift flip of the video. I know it wasn't really much of a thrift flip because it still pretty much looks the same as when I started, but pretty much what I did is I just kind of cinched it in on the sides so it fits a little bit better now. I still wear it with a belt though because for one I just think it looks way better with the belt and I just think it's a nice little um, style element that I added in. Yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with the pants. These are definitely something that I can see myself wearing all the time. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me thrift flip all of these different things. I would have to say my favorite thrift flip is probably the skirt, just because I can actually see myself wearing that a lot. And it was probably one of the bigger transformations. Obviously, my the pants that I made were probably the biggest transformation. However, I don't, I can't really wear them because they are a little too tight. I think if I had made the legs a little bit wider, I would have been able to pull them up a little bit higher. 
and then kind of adjust the waist to where I wanted it, but unfortunately they are a little bit too tight for that, so at least it was a lesson learned and I can still try to do something like this again in the future. If you guys liked this video, please give it a like. This took me a really long time to film, even though it was really fun, but it was very time consuming. So definitely give it a like and subscribe if you want me to do more thrift look videos because I definitely love filming these. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.